This is uh, the legitimate uh, medical cannabis expert, and I'm here to tell you about a product called Cannabidiol. Cannabidiol is a compound found in cannabis that has so many different medical applications, it's, it's insane. I mean, we have uh, anti-epilepsy, anti uh, anti-psychotic, uh, anti-inflammation. It's even been shown to uh, combat uh, bacteria that's resistant to antibiotics. You know, they're saying that it can be used against MRSA. Uh, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, you know, well, this stuff makes you high or this stuff's illegal. It's, it's really not illegal, and it, it honestly doesn't make you high. It makes you, I mean, you feel like you're on a medication, but it doesn't make you high. Okay, so it comes in units, and you know the. I mean, the company is just so legitimate, and you know they. It's ran by good people, and they're really out to make a difference and heal people. You know, unlike the, you know, medical establishment that doesn't want you to know about this stuff. Okay, so you know it's been shown to have to help treat uh, multiple sclerosis. Uh, what else here? Multiple sclerosis, uh, anxiety, bipolar, schizophrenia, and inflammation. You know, studies have even been done to show that it helps the brain not make the chemical that causes inflammation, which is very interesting. Uh, cannabidiol has also dis displayed uh, sedative effects in different studies. And in other words, you know, it's it's really good for ADHD. Like if you have an ADHD kid, you're you're way better off putting them on cannabidiol than, you know, Ritalin or or Vyvanse. One thing that's so interesting about CBD is that it seems to be almost the opposite of THC. We know THC in certain individuals can cause psychosis or can worsen psychosis. Uh, it can THC can worsen things like bipolar disorder. However, cannabidiol displays antipsychotic properties, you know, and so, you know, there is a, and I mean, don't, don't take my word for it. I mean, read the Journal of Medicine, you know, look at the certified scientific studies and you will see that, you know, they did a blind clinical trial. They took, you know, a, a group of people who were schizophrenic and, you know, some of them were given atypical antipsychotics and some of them were given cannabidiol both of them improved significantly and their symptoms went away. However, the people who were took cannabidiol instead of the atypical antipsychotic, uh, the, the individuals that took the cannabidiol didn't have any adverse side effects. They didn't have any weight gain. They didn't have any dizziness. They didn't have any, uh, you know, the nasty side effects that come with atypical antipsychotics. Uh, studies have been shown and have proven that cannabidiol is just as it just as effective as, you know, drugs like Xanax, you know, for anxiety. Uh, one, one thing that's interesting about CBD, it's like two different drugs depending on how much you take. For example, CBD in low amounts uh, causes you to be more alert and, uh, and, and awake, but in, in high amounts, over 100 milligrams, it actually causes you to sleep, which is why it's very beneficial to people with insomnia or people who you know, their mind races at night, you know. Uh, matter of fact, did you know that they've actually shown that that CBD causes breast cancer cells to commit suicide, yet, I mean, nobody knows about it, and I mean, it's, it's a government study. Let me pull it up. Hold on. Uh, okay. Okay, and this is a, from the cancer.gov website. Okay, so don't think it's some conspiracy. Uh, hold on here. An in vitro study of the effect of cannabidiol on programmed cell death, uh, independent of the CB1, CB2, uh, venoliate receptors, CBD inhibited the survival of both estrogen receptor positive and estro estrogen receptor negative. Uh, breast cancer cell lines, inducing a, I don't know how to pronounce this, a poptosis, uh, 
so, so, so in other words, uh, cannabidiol caused breast breast cancer cells to commit suicide, and it kept the it kept the healthy cells intact, which is just completely beyond me why they're not using it more often. I will, I'll, I'll tell you why they're not using it more often because pharmaceutical companies can't patent it. They, they can't, you know, I mean they can take a, a drug and, you know, a chemical drug and they can patent it and they can make billions of dollars. But that's not what uh, MJNA is all about. And you know, you know, Hint Meds RX is ran by wonderful people. I can testify to that. Uh, you know, Chris Boucher, all, all those guys at the uh, the headquarters. You know, really know what they're doing. It's this is legitimate medical cannabis. This is not you know a stoner walking into a dispensary. It's not you know it's you're not it, it's not made to get you stoned. Now. It is kind of expensive. Okay, so uh, 60 grams in syringes is a couple grand. I think it's like 3,200 something. Uh, I have one right here that I've been using for anxiety and uh, sleep disorders, and uh, it works great. I mean, it's does it make you high? No, really, honestly, does it make you high? I mean, if you take a large amount it'll make you kind of zoned out and you shouldn't drive but at the same time if you were to take you know 11 12 Benadryl you probably shouldn't drive either you know if you were to take uh, <clears throat> 10 Valerian root you, you shouldn't drive you know so but as far as this being you know like getting you high you know not really you know very mild basically doesn't get you high that's because this no THC in this. You know, CBD is a major compound that's found in marijuana, but it's also found in the hemp plant. And uh, CBD is basically the opposite of THC. You know, it's in other words, let, let's say you're really high on marijuana, and you took a bunch of CBD. The CBD would actually kind of kill your buzz and take that high away. I don't smoke marijuana, but uh, I'm all for legitimate uh, medical cannabis. The main reason I don't smoke marijuana is because I'm getting more into church and uh, things like that and uh, where I live smoking marijuana is illegal. I live in Texas so I really don't have any interest in smoking marijuana but this is what a tube looks like. You see it's 18 percent CBD. Uh, the, the hemp is grown by Photosphere which is a very legitimate company. Uh, the second point, you know, keep in mind, th this stuff is extremely powerful, the stuff that comes in the syringe, so it's not like your average Joe would need one of these. The reason why I have one of these is because uh, Medical Marijuana Incorporated has obviously taken a liking to me. I'm doing a lot of awareness for them. Uh, they sent me some flyers. Uh, I've, I've gotten a tube from them before to help with anxiety and insomnia. And, it it works. I mean, it works. You man, you take some in the morning and you feel great, and you go throughout your day, and it's it's just wonderful. Now, <clears throat> can a chew is more for just the average Joe. Uh, it's actually cannabidiol chewing gum, and uh, you can order it at wholesale prices. Uh, it's about three hundred and twenty milligrams, you know, per box of gum. So. I, I, you know, they sent me some of their gum, and I, I chewed ten pieces, and it made me tired. It made me kind of tired. Uh, it made me relaxed. It made me uh, calm. Uh, I, I can definitely see, you know, if I had a kid with ADHD, I'd, uh, I'd make him chew a couple pieces of cannabidiol gum before going to school. But anyway, getting on to my next point is that. You know, cannabidiol is something that the medical establishment does not want you to know about. It's something that uh, they actually tried to cover up. Uh, like I said, I mean, scientific study, this is www.cancer.gov you know, website. They admit that CBD induced programmed cell death on breast cancer cells. It, it caused breast cancer cells to commit suicide yet no doctors know what it is uh, 
you probably don't know what it is. Really the only people who know what it is are people from places like California and Colorado. One, one, one thing that's so good about uh, Hint Muds, uh, RX, and, and Can of Chew, and the rest of the guys at MJNA is that they're, they're legitimate. I'm not saying that all these other dispensaries aren't legitimate, but I mean, if you're, if you're ordering cannabidiol, then you're not trying to get stoned. You're trying to really, you know, you know, help yourself. And uh, I mean, it's just the, so many different things this can treat. I mean, you know, people who have epilepsy, they're they're taking cannabidiol. They don't have seizures anymore. You know, people who are schizophrenic, they're taking cannabidiol. They don't hallucinate anymore. You know, and it's just so frustrating that the medical establishment, you know, doesn't want people to know about it. Uh, because they can't make money on it. I mean, I mean, this cannabidiol is a compound that will make your brain not produce a chemical that causes inflammation. It helps people who have colitis, you know, irritable, irritable bowel syndrome. It helps all of that. And uh, you got to be careful when you're taking uh, cannabidiol. You can't really overdose. It's not that it's you know dangerous or anything. It's just you know this don't treat this the same way you would a you know b12 vitamin pill you know have a little more respect for it than that uh, matter of fact one thing that's very interesting that studies have shown that cannabidiol is a better antioxidant than vitamin c scientifically proven better antioxidant than vitamin c yet no one knows about it so frustrating um, it's good for people with ADHD, bipolar, uh, cancer, colitis. Uh, I mean, I, I honestly think everybody should take this in the morning if you're sick or not. Uh, your endoy, endocannabinoid receptors in your brain are just so depleted. And uh, a lot of people, they, they want the medical benefits from marijuana, but they don't want the high. And this is what uh, Hemp Meds, RX, and uh, Canachu, and the guys at MJNA, what they're trying to do. Now, MJNA is a publicly traded company. You can buy stock. It's on the stock market. I believe right now it's twelve cents a share. Not not a bad investment, you know. If you if you ask me, and uh, the staff is so kind. I mean, I've talked to them, and you know, I'm trying you know products that uh, haven't hit the market yet. And uh, in return, you know, I'm spreading awareness and whatnot, and you know, things of things of that nature. Uh, as far as this is concerned, um, if, if I mean, if you don't have anything like anxiety or insomnia, you probably don't need one of these concentrated tubes. Uh, this paste is actually what they use to make the gum. In other words, you know this is made to make other products I know this is probably what's in the, the, the Dixie Dew Drops you know Dixie's a great company if you haven't or I think it's Red Dice Holdings is a decent company but the product Dixie Dew Drops you know they uh, low amounts of CBD uh, you know like I said it's available in all 50 states uh, it's you know, low amounts of CBD are, are very beneficial, but if, if you're looking to achieve uh, effects, like let, let's take a schizophrenic person, for example, uh, he's going to need like at least 250 milligrams a day. And a uh, can of chew gum is only 320 milligrams in a box. So, in other words, if you're a schizophrenic, you're not going to want to take can of chew, you're going to want to take this. Uh, I use this for uh, insomnia and uh, anxiety. Sometimes I have anxiety, and as well as ADHD, because I'm extremely, extremely, extremely ADHD. And uh, this stuff, it it slows you down, and it's your ADHD symptoms go away. I mean, why why would you have somebody on you know Ritalin or uh, you know whatever Vyvanse or whatever they give kids nowadays? when all they need is 50 milligrams of CBD in the morning and they'll be calm throughout the whole day. You know, it's 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 really frustrating. You know, doctors don't know about this stuff. The 
medical establishment does not want to cure you. People within the medical establishment want to cure you from things like anxiety, insomnia, irritable bowel syndrome, uh, you know, stuff like that. But the establishment as a whole wants you sick. They want you sick. And they're the ones that are trying to, that tried to get rid of CBD and cannabidiol back in the 1940s or whatever that Harry J. Aislinger asshole, whatever his name was. Um, very low THC content in this. I think this is like 0.98% THC, so it's under 1% THC. Uh, so, I mean, if you're a pothead, you know, you're not going to want to spend money to get this, you know, because this is legitimate medical cannabis. This is not made to get you high. It's made to, it's made to help you. It's made to, you know, help you sleep. It's made to help you with ADHD. It's made to make breast cancer cells kill themselves. It's made to, you know, make a difference in your life. It's made to heal, you know. Um, anyway, if you're interested in uh, ordering uh, real scientific uh, cannabidiol hemp oil, you can call 866-781-3083. And if you want to order some wholesale can of chew, call uh, can of chew, that's what the gum looks like. It tastes uh, minty fresh. It's really tastes good, honestly. Like I said, I chewed 10 pieces all at once and it just calmed me down and made me feel great. Uh, if you want to order wholesale uh, can of chew, you're going to call 866-249-7330. Like I said, th this stuff doesn't make you high, so it's not about getting high. Uh, or you can go to wholesalecanofchew.com. Uh, I mean, it's... I would, you, you, you know, the best thing you can do is go to projectcbd.com and, uh, you know, read on there and uh, realize that what I'm saying is true. Don't take my word for it. I want you to read the scientific studies that have shown it to be just as effective as atypical antipsychotics in treating schizophrenia. I want you to read the government studies that show that it made, uh, you know, breast cancer cells commit suicide. Uh, Go read the studies about MRSA, because they're saying now that cannabidiol can combat MRSA, which, I mean, it's I, I've never known a compound from a plant to do all these things. I mean, this is like a thousand medications in one with zero side effects. And, I mean, the only side effect that I could think of is sleepy, drowsy, good health. So if you feel like getting sleepy and drowsy and if you want to have good health then cannabidiol is for you and, and, and I can testify to the fact that the people at uh, Medical Marijuana Incorporated are, are, are they're great people and you know they're out there to heal people they're not out there to uh, make sorbs of money. Now this stuff uh, this stuff is expensive I think this too would probably go for like over 500 bucks but uh, like I said, it's insanely concentrated. Uh, your average person doesn't need this. Uh, the reason I have this is because uh, MJ and A, they're just great people and uh, you know they, they sent it to me. You know, thank you. Uh, bulk quantities are available, you know. Uh, so if you know anybody that's really suffering from any type of illness like horrible panic attacks and whatnot and you know give this a try but uh all right guys so this is my first video for uh you know can of chew and jna you know all you guys thank you chris boucher thank you charles uh keep doing what you're doing you know heal people get the word out you know let's uh let's shut down the pharmaceutical industry because this can replace their drugs all right so peace out thanks for watching thank you chris mjna uh Check out the ticker symbol that's on the stock market. Uh, if you want to buy stocks, it's very cheap. It's a penny stock. Uh, spend a couple hundred dollars. Uh, you know, maybe what if the stock goes up to three dollars and you bought it for twelve cents? You know, I mean, you 
if you have a couple hundred dollars to spare, definitely uh, buy stocks in MJNA. So thanks to MJNA, you can have medical cannabis in non-medical states, uh, cannabis without the stones, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you, MJNA. Uh, God bless all you guys, and uh, I'm excited and, and proud to be an affiliate for you guys, and I'll get the word out there, and uh, we'll do whatever we got to do. All right, peace out.